Well, I bet you there is not another one out there on the planet, okay, that has got the provenance of this car. This car is a one lady owner car. She is on the button, but this car is truly a time warp. I want to undo the sunroof more than anything in the world, but I also don't want to undo the sunroof more than anything in the world. The brand new Civic CRX. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Michael Break. Today I've done something very, very cool. I bought this, okay? And I've been trying to buy this car for around about 12 years. This is a 1984 Mark I Honda CRX. I know there's people out there going, and? The brand new Civic CRX. Well, I bet you there is not another one out there on the planet, okay, that has got the provenance of this car. This car is a one lady owner car. It has only done 47,000 miles. And when this car left the factory in the UK, right hand drive, I know you JDM guys out there are screaming and jumping up and down about this car being right hand drive. But the interior is original. It's got the fold down seats and it also is a sunroof car. Guys, let's go check it out. The Civic itself, this is basically a baby Civic because the back end is a lot shorter. So this is a CRX. This trim is the vein of my life. I had this trim, but it was broken. We tried to remove it and I'm gonna show you in a minute what happened. This fell into like a million pieces. So originally it left the factory with the spoiler, color coded, well I say color coded bumpers, but it's got the trims. It's got alloy wheels from factory. This car has done 47,000 miles and I know most people are saying that's a lot of miles, but for a car that's 1984, uh, it's got a few issues, little crack on the grill there, tiny little crack there. Up on the spoiler, on the, on the sunroof, we've got a couple of bubbles, not too bad. That trim, obviously we're missing, wheel refurb, a little tiny bubble on the back there. But this is where it gets really cool, guys. So inside the car, as you can see, it is basically a time warp. I've got the original keys. So this car was sold by a company called Crown, Crown Motors, okay, so it's got the original number plates, front and rear. I've got the original tax disc holder, and on the keyring, I've even got the original Crown keyring, which is super cool. And the best bit about this car, she is on the button, all the buttons work, all this, this works, even got all the booklets, the original operating instructions for the original radio, which is just so cool. But this car is truly a time warp. Like, look at the roof lining, it's immaculate. It's got the fold down twin back seat. I mean, my wife would never let me take the kids in the car. The seats are unbelievable and comfy and the bolsters are solid. The vinyl is not torn. The stereo, I don't know if it works. Oh, hang on, the aerial needs pulling out. Riveting stuff here, guys. Radio searching with Hard Up Garage. <laughs> well, it works. It's a very loud. Rear heated window in 1984. Cigarette lighter complete. Does it work? Does the cigarette lighter work? Steering wheel brand new. Look at that. It is like brand new. Horn works. Radio works. I don't know what you are. I'm not sure. We've got a coin holster with no coins. Cigarette lighter popped out. Cigarette lighter works. This car is truly a blast from the past. I want to undo the sunroof more than anything in the world, but I also don't want to undo the sunroof more than anything in the world. Hang on, is the sunroof electric? <laughs> no way. Electric sunroof, 1984, that works. This car is truly a time warp. I have every tax disc holder. I have absolutely everything for this vehicle. It is truly a, a time warp car. Um, let's look in the boot, let's look in the boot because I love to look in the boot. Obviously quite cool as well. The doors are pillarless. They don't have the top pillar on the door. Um, someone's put a lovely GB. So obviously the car has gone out of the country. Gas struts, Ooh! don't hold, but you can imagine that they're quite easy to replace. Foldable rear seat in the background with matching carpet, all original. The wood in the back is like brand new. 
A, a, a fifth alley wheel full tool kit. This car is amazing. Seats are just phenomenal. Let's just have a quick look through the paperwork and I'm going to show you the condition of the uh, I said, alloy wheels do need a refurb, so we're going to take them down to um, the wheel specialist who we normally work with. But this car is just so cool. Time warp, 94 year old lady who owned it, one owner from new. Oh, the other thing is, this decal down the side here, I have never seen another one with a decal that follows across the boot lid. That is just so cool. Let's pop inside. I'm just going to go through the paperwork real quick because. This car here, Ollie, if you can grab the camera for me a second. I'm just gonna just dig out the paperwork. It's got two original keys for it. The original key ring, and then Honda, Honda, Honda. So the CRX was basically known as the Civic Coupe CRX. And as you can see, we've got the original notebook, which is, you know, hasn't got any damaged corners. It's absolutely immaculate. Looking at here, I'm gonna blur that. It's zero previous owners from new. And the logbook name, you know, number plate is B800XUR, which I think is also pretty cool. And then obviously we've got the original uh, magazine by Honda as well, me and my Honda, which I thought was amazing, which was the lady who is 94 years old now. She owned this car. I mean, just check that out. That is so, so cool. Um, and then this is where it gets really cool. So we've got the original Crown Motors tax disc holders. And then when you go through this, it is basically, there's another one there. So it's basically got a spare, which is so cool from new. And we go through the service history and it is just another level of cool. I mean, when this car came out in 1984, this would have been the original leaflet that it was sold with, which is just so cool. And then we've got, um, let's have a look in here. So Crown was the dealership. I'm gonna do a little bit of research on Crown, but this was the original Crown Motors. Look at that. And the original phone number used to the service director in that as well. The original booklets and when they bought it, look at that. How cool is that? The original RAC booklets, the original Honda paperwork. Like this stuff here has got to be priceless. Like, so right, Crown Motors, here we go. Look, so it's got the original uh, book pack. And then we're gonna open this up and we're gonna go through the service history real quick. So this is the service booklet you would have got in 1984. Um, and then we'll just shimmy forward past all of this. So dealer stamp, there you go. This is the original dealer stamp. 1985 for its first service. And then we're gonna skip over here to uh, 1992, 1996. 1996 and then it does jump up here we've got a few more corrosion warranties as well um this is what i love like you know when you start buying look honda owner's card how cool is that and her name matches on the logbook i mean this stuff is another level oh here we go look at this rac rescue procedures what is this uh, when you're sailing out of the country, motoring services. I'm like say, by by no means is this full service history, but we have got a lot of paperwork here, um, going all the way back, all the way back, and you know, original Honda cert paperwork. What is this here? No, what we got? Here? Carry out service, 1994. Uh, clutch cable snapped, 1995. Look at all this paperwork. Another service book by Honda. Euro service booklet by Crown Motors. And then obviously in here, you've got every single MOT and service going back. I mean, guys, this is a treasure trove. I think we're gonna put this car through um, collecting cars, the auctions, this car will be going up for sale very soon. But look guys, just the original service book, the original paperwork, the original book pack. Um, you know, we've also got the MOTs going back as well. The tax disc holders, um, the original magazine by Fort Honda that it was actually in, which is amazing. And obviously the logbook itself and the Civic owner. This is 
going up for auction. So guys, you've seen around the car and truly it is amazing. But this is what is left of my trim. So what I've done, okay, in very hard up garage manner, is I've purchased this, okay, which is a staple gun. And it's not a stapler like you'd normally know it. Basically what you do is you buy these little staples here that come in a little box, right? And you put them in the end of the nozzle, like this. They squeeze in, and what they do is you hold it down and they glow boiling hot red. Look at that! Woo! Right, then what that does, all right, is that allows us to glue back together all these broken trims. So this part here, Ollie, if I'm gonna borrow you for a minute, if that's all right, when you grab that camera and just watch over my shoulder just here. So this trim here is broken and this is plastic. We don't wanna go crazy, guys, because we don't wanna push it all the way through. We're gonna heat it up so it's nice and hot. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. It will start melting and we're gonna push that into the plastic. And stop. Then we stop. And we're gonna let that cool down. So a little bit of a jiggery and a pokery. That has left the staple in the plastic. Can you see that? Right there. Therefore, our plastic is now molded together. So, so that gives us a lot more strength in that. We're gonna put one more in just below it because we wanna make sure there's some strength in it. And then we're gonna try and, well, this is really stressful. Look at all these staples. Uh, we're gonna basically try and put this jigsaw back together, work out what parts we're, we're, we're missing and then go from there. So once again, hold that button down till it goes boiling red hot, which you'll see glowing. We don't want to push all the way through the plastic here, guys. If you go too far, you're going to come out the other side and damage the trim that you're trying to save. Right, so that's our trim, majority of it back together. Now, it's just about a matter of working out what bits go where, because I found these other trims in the boot, and I don't really know where they go. So, we fixed our trim the best we can, which wasn't very good at all. But guys, if you have a ground effects trim for a Honda CRX, I am your best friend, or you'll be my best friend. guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Make or Break. Come and check it out as we're gonna get the wheels refurbed. We're gonna get a bit of paint sorted on the roof. We're gonna get that paint. We're gonna get this car full mop. And then it's going to go, going to go into auction. Guys, watch this space. Thanks for watching another episode. See you later. Quick reminder, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and then the bell button. So you get alerts when we release new episodes and follow us on social media too for extra stuff and more alerts about videos we're releasing which at the moment is every Sunday and the odd Wednesday too. Bye for now.